an alert has been issued about a potential Asian hornet invasion in the UK, with experts sharing what you should do if you see one. These insects can threaten honeybees and insect pollinators, and after record sightings last year, the UK's Chief Plant Health Officer Nicola Spence has urged beekeepers and the general public to be extra vigilant. It comes as the Wildlife and Countryside Link WCL, which represents 83 nature organizations, warned that the warmer temperatures and flooding we've seen recently can be a catalyst for invasive species to thrive in the UK. Richard Benwell, WCL chief executive, said, Invasive species are already one of the biggest threats to the UK environment, from smothering waterways to outcompeting native species. They also cause billions of pounds in damage a year to homes and businesses, and even pose risks to human health. The River Trust, Plant Life and Bug Life are among the groups in the coalition, which is calling for government action to mark Invasive Non-Native Species Week from Monday, May 20. Investment in a fully funded inspectorate and a strong invasive species strategy could make a contribution to halting nature's decline and creating a more resilient economy, Mr. Bendwell said. The Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA, said members of the public can report any sightings of the Asian hornet, which have very dark bodies, a wide orange stripe on the fourth abdomen section and yellow leg ends via the Asian Hornet Watch app. It added that the National Bee Unit is ready to respond to any further possible sightings after attending every credible report last year and destroying 72 nests in 56 locations, most of which were in Kent. The latest Scottish government figures show that there has only ever been one credible Asian hornet sighting here up to November 2023, in a supermarket distribution centre in the Central Belt. The insect died on site and a confirming sample was not conserved. The coalition is calling for the annual invasive species biosecurity budget to triple to £3 million, with a further £3 million to fund a permanent dedicated invasive species inspectorate. It is also calling for long-term government funding for local action groups LAGs, to create a biosecurity citizens' army, as recommended by the Environmental Audit Committee. Other recommendations include reforming the process of listing GB invasive species of special concern and proactively managing the listed species that are already widespread and causing harm. Responding to WCL's recommendations, a DeFra spokesperson said, invasive species threaten our native biodiversity and cost the economy billions every year, which is why we support the invasive species inspectorate and in carrying out their role to protect the nation's biosecurity. Through our invasive non-native species strategy, we remain committed to going even further to detect protect and eradicate the threats they pose, while increasing coordination and cooperation with the public, land managers and businesses to deliver this. Don't miss the latest news from around Scotland and beyond, sign up to our